everybody, today we've got a fun new toy. We have the Windbridge S92 PA system. We're going to try to open this up um, on camera just to kind of show you exactly what it comes with. It does come in a very nice uh, packaging, though most of it, as you can tell, um, hopefully you can tell, is not in English. That's that's quite all right. We have a little bit of uh, literature, just a couple of pages. We'll uh, look that over later. Then the main part of the uh, unit that I'm sure you're wanting to see, we do have a fairly heavy, nice uh, little microphone. It does not appear to have a charge at the moment, which is just fine. I'm sure that it uh, lost its charge in shipping. But it does have this little flap here that I noticed. And if we pull that flap off, it is chargeable via USB, which is really, really cool. I'll go ahead and set this back in the box and, and move on. The uh, little waterproof flap there does fit in quite nicely. I think over time it might give out, but straight out of the box it does work quite nice. On the other side, we have a wireless um, unit that would go to a belt clip and also is charged via the same USB. Again, I'm sure that this one uh, does not have a, a charge. There is a battery indicator in the front and it is dead, so we'll have to charge this up as well before we uh, finish the review. Still, a really nice little uh, addition. Quite quite happy to see that in here. We're going to set this up here because underneath that we have their traditional um, shoulder straps that Winbridge provides with all of their equipment. Really nice uh, shoulder straps with a decent um, clip on them. Makes it really easy to be able to uh, sling this thing up real quick, put it over your bag, or your back I mean. We also have a charging brick. As well as a little bit of audio cable, which is also really nice. I'm glad to see that they do include this. Um, a lot of times they don't, so that's really good to see. In the middle portion of the box here, we have the headset that does have a little bit of articulation on the earpieces, which is a really nice uh, thing to see on these, these styles of uh, headsets. It does have a an articulating arm for the mic, as well as the actual articulating piece here, which looks like it holds up quite well. Um, is very poseable. And they have a nice little bend in the microphone itself here so that you should get pretty accurate sound. We'll test that out as well once we have this all charged up. Lastly, we have the main unit itself, which is actually, again, it's, it's a fairly heavy, uh, good quality build. Just looking it over real quick, it does feel really nice and solid. Let me go ahead and set this aside real quick so we can get a better look. As you can see, you do have your main grill here on the in the front. We do have their tuckable uh, style of clips on the top, which are really easy, again, like I said, to attach to. I like these a lot better than the uh, key ring style clips. Really quite nice. Going around the unit, on this side, we have a flap 
But if we open it up, you do have various ports here, as well as your power charging port. And we do have labels on the outside of this rubbery uh, seal as well that do label it for you. They do say mic, aux, and your DC. So that's quite nice. Um, Excuse me one second while I, I kind of put this flat back in. Just out of curiosity, I want to see it does fit in fairly well and hold down. Again, I think this might be a weak part at some point, but it's really quite nice right now. And on this other side, we have USB. So let me turn that so you can see it, sorry. USB and an SD card slot also underneath a uh, rubberized little flap. Also really nice, keeps it nice and durable. I think that'll really help with uh, dust, keeping this, being able to use this outside, um, etc. Be really, it's a really nice, nice thing to see these flaps on here. Across the top, we have our control panel. I'm gonna tip it up here real quick so I can see, but we have your volume up and down, the UHF button, the mode button, you do have a battery indicator, looks like, the power, your back, your play pause, and your forward button. All in all it's really quite nice. It does sit very stable on its own. And right out of the gate, this unit does, power on. does have blue juice. juice. Waiting for connection. It does pair with Bluetooth, which is really, really quite nice. So I will test that again, or out as well, once I read the instructions, just so I can show you the correct way to pair this up, as well as to set it up with the different uh, pieces. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to demonstrate pairing this up with Bluetooth, which is really, really quite simple. First, I do want to show you this speaker on my phone versus the uh, speaker in this unit. My phone, a quick sample. And that was all the way up. Quite uh, loud, I guess, for a phone maybe, but not really loud as far as a presentation or something like that. So we'll go ahead and hit the menu. Bluetooth, waiting for connection. Okay, so now it's in Bluetooth mode, waiting for its connection. If I go to my Bluetooth settings on my phone, this does show up as the SDS-92. Bluetooth is connected. And it connected almost immediately. So we'll go ahead and go back to our audio clip real quick. See, we have a lot more volume coming out of this. In fact, it sounds really quite good. There's no distortion. We also have volume controls that are quite responsive on the unit itself as well. Then, if you don't want Bluetooth mode, audio in. All you have to do is push the mode button again, and now it's on audio in mode which we're going to use with this uh, wireless headset now. This is my voice, again, without the speaker. And if I put this up, Hopefully you can hear it. Let's uh, make sure we have it upright. This is my voice with the speaker, and I'm not picking up any kind of a feedback um, being this far away. Of course, the big benefit of this unit is that it can be used wireless, 
and I do have to charge the uh, wireless mic for that. But again, there's a lot of really good sound coming out of this. It's not distorting my voice at all. There isn't a whole lot of static. All in all, I'm quite impressed with the sound coming out of this little box. It's quite nice. After charging up this uh, handset for a little bit, holding in the power button, you can see that it does glow blue. And you want to hit the, or at least I did, the UHF button on the main unit. There is some feedback from this. At least I was getting some. But, again, if you're holding it up here, and there's a decent amount of distance, I think it'll work really quite well. Um, that being said, this unit did say uh, Bluetooth connected, so I'm wondering if this is a Bluetooth enabled device. Um, regardless, it was dead simple to set up. It feels nice and comfortable in the hand and has a decent amount of uh, pickup. There is a little bit of a squeal, so you will want to make sure you uh, keep the unit farther away from you than, than what I had, but all in all, it worked quite well. To pair this up with the unit, you long press the UHF button, and it will show a flashing indicator at the top, Then you push the pair button on this unit, and it will pair up. Um, sound out of this sounds just as good as the sound out of this unit. All in all, quite happy with it. Um, assuming, I have enough room, assuming I have enough room on my uh, video card, I will demonstrate this as well, but it did connect quite easily. It sounded just as good. Very nice option. My final thoughts are this is a uh, a rock star among PA systems. It has everything in it that I would want, um, nothing in it that I wouldn't, but adding the wireless mics, the ability to have a wireless hand or headset mic, the ability to have auxiliary in as well as a mic in directly to this unit, playing off of USB drive, um, I mean, just all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. It's quite a resilient little beast of a, a machine, and I'm, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with it. It's the best PA system that I have found to date.